When I think of the Youth Council, I probably think the variety you know, of, of aspects that it covers in the sense that it takes the young people and it trains them and equips them and there's different you know, events for them to learn and to learn more about God and how to evangelise and things like that there. The Youth Council has definitely helped to equip me and taught me to think uh, more biblically, uh, more spiritually, even about how you talk to those people you're, you're with every day. The Youth Council has given me countless opportunities to serve my Lord. And what better um, could I be doing with my life than serving Jesus? I think Youth Council is really great to like bring you on your Christian walk because there's always another event to look forward to and always another opportunity to serve God and that's the main aim in your life is to serve God. I suppose that's the one thing I've, I've learned through the Youth Council is finding opportunities to, to speak to other people and, and to use them uh, to the Lord's glory. Ephesians chapter 5 and the verse 16. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Young people, our lives pass quickly. You need to redeem your youth. And you pray that you will know God's will and how you can serve the Lord in your local church fellowship, but perhaps even in a denominational level. And that's where the Youth Council come in. We exist to see our young people saved and to provide opportunities to serve God and also to organize social events for our young people to fellowship with other young people in the body of Christ. The Free Presbyterian Youth Council was set up in February 1974 with Dr. Alan Cairns as the president. Its design was to coordinate and combine all our youth fellowships throughout our denomination. The committee of the Free Presbyterian Youth Council consists of the president plus 10 members representing the areas of the Free Presbyterian Church of Ulster. The function of the committee is to discuss and recommend to the delegates activities designed to further the aims of the Free Presbyterian Youth Council. The delegates' meetings along with the delegates is the whole idea is basically every aspect of the Youth Council is discussed. Um, so preparing for outreaches, update on your projects, all kinds of things are properly run at meeting. And my main role as a delegate is to pick what is discussed and all the details from those meetings that are going to be important to our youth fellowships and to bring that back. As delegates, when we come to meetings, uh, once every quarter, it's really an opportunity. We meet up, so we have an agenda um, for, for the meeting, uh, and we uh, look at what we're doing, and what we have planned for the next few months. It's very, I suppose, informal. Uh, it, it's just a chance to, to chat openly, and people give their opinion, they give their thoughts on what we can do, maybe where we can go. Being a delegate gives you the chance to talk to other people in the area who have an interest in seeing where the free church as a youth is going to go, maybe decide on projects on what the money that we raise should be spent on. But it also it allows you to feel an active role, to feel that you're giving, contributing to what happens within the youth of the free church. We're constantly talking about the outreach teams for the summer, we're constantly thinking of regional outreach events. Uh, so it's really just to discuss those things and uh, try and I suppose get a, 
get a good feel for what 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 the young people of the church want uh, as, as the, the youth council is made up of, of young people. As a delegate, you have a say in what is being passed as such. That's the thing about youth council, it's not one side, everybody has a say, and it's great to be involved in that to be able to give your say as well. It's just a connecting rod, really, between the big picture of what the youth council's doing and bringing that back to the local level and making sure that we're all tuned in and we um, obviously then encouraging our young people to get involved in those things that are planned. Well, the different events organised by Youth Council, say like the rallies and the prayer meetings, are really good to go to because uh, there's always such good teaching at them and it's always uh, really useful to see what's going on in the Youth Council as well and to know where I can get more involved with the Youth Council. I'm from the West, so it's quite a small area youth-wise. So when you go to youth rallies and there's 400, 500 young people, it's like, look at all these young people. It's quite an encouragement to see the young ones come in as well, but also the older ones come back. I just think the rallies um, give us a good focus to try and get um, the young people and get all the youth fellowships together. Um, so it challenges the unsaved, and I think as well, just through the testimonies and the reports, like that challenges those that are Christians, right? You know, that I want to get involved in this, and I think that's very, very important. Over the past couple of years, we've been involved in helping with local outreaches to encourage young people to get involved in evangelism. For example, we've been to the, the air shows and we've encouraged young people to come along, give out some tracks and get involved in that way and uh, try and spread the gospel at, at those family events. The Youth Council do the events at the air shows and then also in our area we would do them at maybe some band parades and things for the Youth Council and they're always good because you see people maybe you went to school with and things and it gives you a chance to chat to them, oh what are you doing today? And you can say well I'm here with the Youth Council and explain what it is they do and hand them a wee track and everything. I've been at the Newcastle Air Show and the Port Rush one and both times we were just going up on the streets giving out tracks. It's good to be participating in the Lord's work because you're following the Great Commission then and you feel like you're more used to spreading the gospel. When I think of the outreach teams, we've done a few in around Belfast at big events and it, it's good in the sense that it really gets you to know your audience and who you're dealing with. You'd be surprised how much people open up to you in, in the likes of those things and it's challenging for yourself because it lets you know how much that you need to go back and maybe research scriptures for yourself. I think Youth Council Outreaches have helped me to develop in my confidence probably in what I think to people. So even just handing out tracks, um, it also has encouraged me to help out more in my local church. So help out in children's work, a lot of Bible clubs, children's meetings, things like that. It's just helped me develop in that way more. It was a new experience uh, doing a children's outreach. <laughs> children's outreach I absolutely love because the children are just so happy to see you, especially if you return to the same place where you've been before. It's great to teach them and to get to know them throughout the week. And also if it's during a holiday season, it gives that encouragement to the church that we had so many children in during the Bible club that maybe they'll come to our children's meeting. And it's just a good setup. It helps out the church as well. It gives you a lot more confidence to be able to do a Bible story or the memory verse. It gives you more practice whenever it's not your own congregation staring back at you in the children's meeting. The practice is really good for just, you know, even doing lessons, how to prepare if you've got loads of time or a short amount of time, maybe in front of people you don't know, other adults even, if parents are in, it's, it's good practice. It's easier to start somewhere where you don't know all the children and you don't know all the workers. And because there was only four or five of us like standing there, it's easier. I hadn't actually done the story before in our own children's meeting that I help in and um, I'm actually able to do that now. The outreach helped me to be more involved in my own church children's meeting and I was able to do the memory verse and the quiz after the outreach. The children are always just, you go home and you have their wee hearts on your mind and you know you, you really have a burden for the children. One of my first outreaches was to the children's outreach. Just the opportunity to, it was there to, to serve the Lord in some small part. Great time of fellowship but 
and a great way to get involved in the Lord's work, you know, call to serve, and Youth Council gives that opportunity to do that. Go to camp. Go to camp. I love camp. <laughs> I have been a leader at camp for two years and it's one of the most enjoyable events of my calendar in the whole year. My first camp was like two years ago and I didn't really know any other girls that were going to it. I sort of knew some, uh, but by the end of the five days, like you were best friends with them, it was amazing. It's brilliantly run by the Youth Council and there's always really great interest. The first day I went to Shark and halfway through the week I asked the Lord to come into my heart and I got saved and it was a big step in my life. After that I've made loads of new Christian friends and wouldn't change it for the world. We do activities during the day which are fun <laughs> mostly. That's bouldering and canoeing, high ropes, well, we did lots of adventure activities and stuff like high ropes and bouldering and then there's just times of fellowship as well like we had a meeting around a campfire and stuff like that. It was like a casual atmosphere and it was, I think there was like a question and answer sort of thing going on so it was a lot more casual and it was just, you got to learn a lot more. So the bits that I really enjoy are the devotions at night. Um, we split into groups of maybe five or six and it's really a good time and we, you really get to know um, the ones in your group and they can open up and talk to you about different things that maybe are worrying them or bothering them. The leaders tend to be quite young so you can sort of relate to them a fair bit. I think with helping with the Youth Council summer camps each year has showed me that we do have a lot of new young people coming through the church and um, I think it's just it's really encouraging to see another generation coming through there's so many of them and I just think it's great to be involved in those things to be able to reach out to these young people and help to disciple them and uh, trusting that they'll really go forward with, with the Lord in their lives. We made friends at camp but then we were able to keep in contact with them through youth rallies and other fun nights like the fun night in the big sports hall and I find that good because sometimes you like if you didn't see them until next year you would sort of lose these relationships. Yeah, fun fellowship evenings would be crack. You have a chance just to get to know maybe some of the younger ones on a more personal level because maybe they've only seen you in youth meetings and they haven't got a chance to know you personally, so it's a good chance just to get them New York for the person. It's important that uh, particularly young people don't get isolated uh, and it's important, particularly as young believers, that they build up lasting friendships um, with other people around their age and particularly young people perhaps in their own local congregation. Things like Castle Well, um, which the Youth Council has taken on again, has just been excellent. Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of crack at it, as we'd say, but just, you came away, you felt built up, and again, just the fellowship, and getting, you know, vast amounts of young people from all over the province to come together, it's a great idea. I think Castle Well, it's a great opportunity to meet new Christian friends, and for your Christian life to kind of grow more and you definitely do feel more on fire for God whenever you come home. Castmill was fab for um, getting to know people there. Uh, it's really just a group of people who love the Lord as much as you do and have the same sort of spiritual understanding that you do. Um, it's uh, really a breath of fresh air to be with them. Not only was it a great weekend but there's, as I say, there's great potential there to see it grow and be built upon in the years ahead and that young people um, just see it really as a highlight, because that's what it is really, it's a highlight of your youth year, um, and what was for me. So every two years we do a leadership seminar for our youth committees and the youth leaders within, within churches. 
And so an opportunity for them to come along and uh, get some advice, get some teaching, training, uh, even on how to deal with not only the, the practical issues of how to run a youth fellowship or you know, how to conduct a meeting, but also you know, very spiritual things like how to counsel young people and how to you know, even conduct yourself around young people and how to, to be a good influence on them and to be a godly influence on them. The leadership seminars are very helpful in um, preparing you to do outreaches and being leaders within your youth fellowship and at camp and things. Training weekends really helped you to know how to approach people and when to draw back. It gives you more confidence because you feel like you're walking in with more knowledge of the Bible than just walking in blindly. You know, we sit down and we have maybe different, you know, like role plays or, you know, different seminars or things that are dedicated, you know, specifically to outreach and how to approach people, how to talk with them. What you want is, you know, is in for to bring them ultimately back to the scriptures, back to the Bible and what God says about certain subjects and about certain matters. So it's very good in that sense. You go to the training weekend and you learn a lot about ways of witnessing and um, about how to witness to different people. And um, it's been very beneficial, not just to, on the outreaches, but you know, when you're serving in your workplace or to other people as well. Not only uh, do you learn a lot about how to serve effectively, but um, you also make a lot of good friends there as well. And I, have to, I can say through the likes of the training weekend and the different outreaches that um, I've made some of my closest friends today. The one that stands out particularly, one of the one of the first years I went through the training weekend was when I was going through the London 2012 outreach, and I just felt it really equipped all of us for the aspects of work that we were going into. So for going to London that year, they covered things like the Muslim context and how to witness to them and what their beliefs are and how to respond to that and why you know they might open the door and stuff, um, and just how to speak in general to people and even the atmosphere around the Olympics and the atmosphere, like understanding your culture there, because London's a difficult area. And I found that the training weekend really helped me to um, just sharpen up in those areas. It prepared me for what I was going into, and I certainly found it on the ground. Um, what we learned over that weekend, from the Friday to the Sunday, um, was really vital to the work and vital to being able to go out there and, and be effective in our evangelism. I went to the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and there was kind of my first time doing outreach. Um, there I really learned how to speak to unsaved people in the doors and stuff and it was a really great opportunity. It was really busy, a lot of people around both in Glasgow and Edinburgh. And we took part every day in times of devotions and went out and gave out tracks for the local church and in the Commonwealth Games events in the sports arenas and stuff. So London um, Outreach 2012 was my first Youth Council Outreach and I had been to the training weekend before and I'd met everyone who was going on the trip so the amount of friends that you make on outreach trips and the people you get to meet is incredible and they're lifelong friends you every time you go to the regional rallies or the open airs like you're seeing people that you maybe don't see every day but you see them then at these events and it's really nice to renew fellowship and just the whole atmosphere of being in a team and going out and doing the work for the Lord is just, it's a good feeling to have. It's always active, you know, the Youth Council is always active and when you see young people, you know, getting involved and young people around the same age as you, you're encouraged, you know, because you meet new people, you know what I mean, and relationships form and it's enjoyable in that sense. I think one of the main things I'll always have is the memories of outreach. The people you run teams with, you, you form a bond over that time. The three aspects of the Youth Council, saving, socialising and serving, for me that's what it's all about. Um, I want to see young people saved and then I don't just want to see young people saved, I want to see them built up in faith and then I want to see young people involved in the work. Um, and I just, I don't say that as an I want to, I can experience it, that's, that's what the Youth Council did for me. It gave me really the vision to, yeah, look, we're saved to serve, let's go. The Youth Council are so supportive and really want to get everyone involved, so they, they make it so easy for um, you to get along to things. It's just such a privilege that the Youth Council has afforded us 
given us the opportunity to go out and to serve God in the different capacities, whether it's on the streets, whether it's with the children, whether it's with missionaries, you know, no matter where it is, no matter what your um, ability is, the Youth Council has something that you can get involved in.